So in 1979, this guy, Ed Catmull, was hired by Lucasfilm to start a computer graphics wing of the company called the Lucasfilm Graphics Group. Work on stuff with Industrial Light and Magic, create effects for the Wrath of Khan. Then in 1984, they make a little film of their own called Andre and Wally B. It premiered in front of the annual SIGGRAPH conference, and even though it was part CG and part wire screen test, the crowd went absolutely crazy. Crazy. In 1986, the graphics group is spun off, bought by Steve Jobs for $5 million, and becomes Pixar. At the time, Pixar was responsible for the production and sales of the Pixar Image Computer, and the short films they did for SIGGRAPH and such were nothing but a PR spot for the hardware. Would you like to buy this computer? It's only $30,000. By the way, I'm not kidding, it was $30,000. But they kept making shorts and with more and more dexterity and storytelling skills like Luxo Jr. and Tin Toy and Knick Knack. And with, then they did some commercials for Tropicana and Lifesavers. In the meantime, the hardware division was sold for $2 million. And then finally, in 1995, they released Toy Story. Of course, that made $361 million worldwide, and Pixar even more recognition, made them a household name, gave them a special award from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences to go along with their Oscar for Best Animated Short for Tin Toy. It since led to 11 feature films with Disney, which has since acquired it in the 2000 or 2004. And that also made Steve Jobs the largest shareholder of the Walt Disney Company. Yeah. So far, they've won six out of the ten animated Best Feature Oscars, along with three Oscars for Best Animated Short, and they'll just keep going, making films that make us think and enjoy the characters, although they're probably not going to do that if they do Cars 2, Monsters, Inc. 2, and Toy Story 4. Best of luck, Pixar! So I did a little history of Pixar there, largely because I went to see Wally -E and Up today at MoMA, Museum of Modern Art here in New York. MoMA has an absolutely awesome film schedule. Right now they're doing, along with the retrospective on Pixar, they're doing a retrospective on Catherine Bigelow, along with like some stuff in, there, in the um, theater galleries. And they've been doing an auteurist history of film, which allowed me to see Casablanca on the big screen for the first time. I'd seen it before, but on a smaller TV device. I hadn't seen Wally -E or Up to this point. I actually saw like 15 minutes of Up in a Kmart when I was getting a mini fridge for college. I enjoyed the rest of the film, and I enjoyed Wally, -E, and I'm probably not going to see Cars 2 until it comes out on DVD. Yeah, I, I always loved Pixar. Pixar would be. It's on the top of my list of places I want to work, even though I have zero programming experience outside of a bit of HTML. Damn it, police siren! Pixar um, has an archives department, and I'd love to work there. But yeah, Pixar, it's cool. Moment, it's also cool. Bren, I'll see you on Tuesday. By the way, Brandon, can you make your next video under 10 minutes? I I'd like to just unilaterally impose a six-minute rule. You know, it's a soft rule, there's no punishments or anything, but please, keep it under time.